Hey everybody, Mr. Cafes here, and uh, this review of Death Battle is very late because when Death Battle came out, it was the week of my birthday, and I had gotten very, very sick. So I was not in any condition to record a video. Um, but now I am, and now I'll talk about Stitch vs. Rocket. As you guys knew, I was very excited for the. <laughs> Sorry, I'm still. <clears throat> I'm still not 100%, but I'm, I'm I'm feeling good enough to record a video. Um, I was very excited for this episode, though the preview left me very skeptical. Let's talk about the actual analysis first. Stitches was great. I really like Stitches' analysis. That gets the full two points. If you guys don't know how my my ranking system works, watch my previous videos. I think I go over it in the most depth in the Universe of the Atom. Uh, Rockets, though, I would only give it most a 1.5. I feel like it, it, it didn't flow quite as nicely, I don't think. You know, like, whenever they pointlessly bring up the MCU for no reason, and, like, trying to scale Rocket to all these different huge Marvel characters, you only needed one. You just needed to go, oh, Thanos. You didn't need to bring up Super Skull, you didn't even bring up Galactus. That stuff's not necessary. That, that, that just makes it flow not as nice. And the post-analysis gets a one out of one, you know, just fine, whatever. Now, the fight is the real contentious point for me. I'm very mixed on it. In fact, I'm actually glad this review is a little bit late. Because I actually like the fight more now than, like, the first week I saw it. Because it's very slow-paced, right? It's... I originally gave it in my... I, I, I do review on Discord. My first impression reviews. And I gave the fight 1.5 out of 5. You know, that's not a very flattering score for the fight. I would probably give it now to maybe a 2.5. The stuff that I that I always liked was the characters. Their actual personalities worked great. And I thought they had some cool shots in there. But it was super slow to me. And honestly, I don't care for the OST. There's nothing wrong with it. I just don't... It's just not my cup of tea for the, for this kind of fight. But uh looking back on it, I do like a lot of stuff. They have some cool ideas in there, some well shot moments, some funny moments. I still don't like Rocket Thanos Buster, how that's handled. Not at all. You know, I'll, I'll just, just get to the spoiler stuff now. Instead of instead of trying to be around the bush talk about the stuff I don't like. Um so if you haven't seen the episode, which you probably have at this point, go ahead and watch Stitch vs. Rocket on Death Battle. Then come back here and, you know, finish my rest of my review. Alright, 3, 2, 1. You better have seen it by now. Um, what the, the, the Thanos Buster, they specifically say in the conclusion that Stitch would not be able to survive that. And they blatantly saw him surviving it relatively easily in the animation. That's just not good choreography between the animation and the conclusion. It is true that the animation does, does not have to match your conclusion, but Death Battle, it usually has. <laughs> Death Battle usually likes to throw stuff in the animation to show the conclusion. They did not do that with the Thanos boss. Plus, it was a really weird shot of him, the way he grabs it and shoots. And Sorry for the cut, something interrupted my recording. Um, what was I talking about? <laughs> Thanos, the scene of the Phantom Buster, it was just weird. I didn't like that. I didn't like every single, like, interaction. Like, the stitch, stitches attacks on a rocket. Well, we, first of all, it's weird that, that how, it's, how it looks. Second of all, they say in the conclusion that a rocket wouldn't be able to survive one hit from Stitch. And he, he survives the whole combo. Stuff like that just annoyed me. Um, um, but so, like, the animation is carried by the characters and some of the cool ideas they have. Well, but it's slower paced, doesn't have the best soundtrack, and the actual choreography compared to their conclusions, pretty bad. So overall, I think I'd give it a 2. 2, two or 2.5 out of out of 5 for the animation. Meaning that, what did I give? I gave it a the post-analysis. I got 3.5. I got 1. That's 4.5. Then the 2. So it's either a 6.5 or a 7. Um, I'm leaning towards a 6.5. Well, I think it's a fair score for the episode. I like it for sure, but I don't, I don't like it that much. Um, so next time, Vader vs. Obi Two. I'm, I'm very excited for this one. In fact, you get, you get my thoughts on the preview. I just saw the preview when it came out on Tuesday. 
I have some worries about it, but overall it does look very good. I am very excited for that one. I, I, I'm hoping a 9 out of 10 for that one. I don't think it'll be as good as, um, what did I call it? The Unborn, <laughs> the, the, uh, what did I call it? Chosen Undead versus Dragonborn. What did I call that episode? I called it the, um, the, un the ch Chosen Unborn versus the Dead Dragon. Yeah, that episode. Very good episode that one was. <laughs> um. But yeah, um, if you're wondering who I think is going to win, I think it's Vader. But I will not be surprised if Obi-Wan won. He definitely has ways of winning. Um, so I think that Death Battle is going to choose Vader as the winner. Not that I actually think... Well, I, I do think that if I were to do Vader versus Obi-Wan, I would probably say Vader was going to win. But based on what I think Death Battle, I also think Death Battle could choose Vader. Purely for a stat edge. In fact, he resists some of the hacks. But I could be convinced Obito would win. I could be, I could definitely be convinced. So yeah, that's that's that. A good episode, six point five. I'm very excited for Vader vs. Obito. Bye.